a disrespectful act, a loss of local military history or a fitting legacy for the future. That's the debate that's taking place here in Leicestershire. Ashby School behind me are in possession of five medals and they want to sell those to help fund a new sports centre. Now the medals were first awarded to Lieutenant Colonel Philip Bend who served with the 9th Battalion, the Royal Leicestershire Regiment during the First World War. He died in October 1917 in Belgium and was awarded the Victoria Cross for his valour on the battlefield. The Victoria Cross is the most distinguished medal that can be awarded for valour in the face of the enemy. It was introduced by Queen Victoria and has only ever been given out to 1,300 people. Now, Lieutenant Colonel Bent's family gave it to the school, his former school, Ashby Boys Grammar, in the hope of teaching future generations about the sacrifices that were made during that time. But for the last 40 years, the medals have been kept in storage due to insurance costs. And the school say, rather than leave them there, they should be sold and the money put to use. Now, the Victoria Cross is quite rare, and as a result, it could be worth several hundreds of thousands of pounds. And the school could certainly put that money to use. They say they know the medals were given to pass on ideals to its pupils, and the decision to sell has not been taken lightly. In a statement, they say, as governors, we believe the creation of a new pavilion would be a fitting way to honour this sentiment, to ensure the medals play a part in inspiring future generations. But not everyone agrees. Some have been very critical of the school's decision, saying it's immoral. Captain Tim Wilkes is from the Royal Leicestershire Regiment. He's among those who say the school are wrong to sell. Very upset. Um, I would hope that they would go to a good home, someone who appreciates what they are and what they stand for. Um, but uh, I'm hoping that they don't get sold. We've been in touch with the surviving family of uh, Philip Bent and they feel the medals should stay as they are um, and they seem very supportive um, of uh, the position that we've taken. Well, this is a debate which has stirred up many emotions, many asking how should we honour past service? Should the medals stay where they are? Should they be put on show? Or should they be sold and the money put to use to help future generations enjoy the freedoms that were fought for at such high a price all those years ago? Carla Prater, Forces News in Leicestershire.